Hi, this is Jeff with IDB. Let's talk about Cydia. More importantly, let's talk about the new and improved Cydia. Now, the new Cydia features a lot of changes, but these changes are actually under the hood, meaning you're not going to notice a lot of physical changes, but if you actually use Cydia, you're going to notice it because no doubt it's much faster for you than the previous versions. This is due to the fact that it's been optimized. There's reduced loading times, there's faster reloads, faster searches, faster scrolling, uh, there's plenty of bug fixes. So it's just all around better, uh, but these changes are under the hood. Now one of my favorite changes is the improved queuing. Now what is queuing? Well, queuing basically um, is processing multiple items simultaneously. So for instance, you could install multiple items at the same time, you could remove multiple items, you could reinstall multiple items, or you can do a combination of the three if you're feeling particularly courageous. So let me just show you how this works. Um, I'm in a, the Big Boss repository, so I'll select Action Menu Plus Pack. Now this is going to install the Plus Pack plus Action Menu uh, because it is a um, prerequisite of the Plus Pack. So I'll just hit Install here and you can see the two items it's going to install. Now normally we would hit confirm up here and it'll just proceed with the with the install, but in this instance we want to uh, tap continue queuing. And what that's going to do is queue it up to be processed later. So we can go back out and you'll see those items highlighted in green which signifies that these items are queued. So let's find a couple of more uh, tweaks or apps here. Let's see, um, how about ask to call and ask to send. So let's go ahead and uh, select ask to call and let's install and we're going to just continue to queue. And then we'll go back out and go to ask to send and we'll do the same thing. We'll install and continue to queue. And you can see how the queue is just building up here. Okay. Now we're going to go back out. Let's find Backgrounder. I know I had that installed. I want to uninstall that. So I'll just tap Backgrounder, Modify, and we're going to just remove Backgrounder. So that's queued into the Remove section. So you see the Install section and the Remove section. Now you just want to continue queuing. Let's find one more item, and we're just going to reinstall that item. So let me just Scroll down here until I find another item. Call lock, okay. So let's just reinstall call lock. Okay, I'm gonna just modify, and then we're gonna just tap reinstall. So you see three uh, different sections and multiple items queued in these different sections. So we have something, uh, some things installing, we have some things reinstalling, and we have something removed, uh, which is backgrounder. So instead of continue queuing, we can just hit confirm. But if we do hit continue queuing, you can always get back to your queue by hitting this queued uh, icon on the manage tab. So and then you just go to queue, which is right here, and that gets right back to your queue. So now we just hit confirm and that'll process this entire queue. And it'll install, remove, and reinstall all these items. So just hit confirm, downloading action menu, Downloading plus pack, downloading ask to call, which is reinstalling, downloading ask to send, it's going through all that. So all that at the same time, instead of going through one by one, respringing, et cetera, et cetera. So now we just restart the springboard. As you can see, using queuing makes for a much more streamlined experience, especially if you just restored your iPhone and you need to reinstall all of your jailbreak tweaks and your jailbreak apps. This is Jeff with IDB.